I often use an indicator list method of, of the nymphing. The reason being is it offers a lot more sensitivity. You're able to stay in contact with your flies a lot longer. And the indicator tip that I do use is very sensitive. So the slightest bump in motion from my fly will signal that something may be on the other end. The way it works is I have my nymph, I have my terminal tippet, my Spive 6 or 7X, a two-tone indicator piece of tippet, followed by my main leader, which is gonna help turn my flies over at a longer distance and maintain a very light amount of weight uh, outside of my raw tip so I can high stick and not have a lot of line sag. So with our uh, sighted material, this technique, what we're going to do is cast out into water, it's fairly close to us, and work our way out to deeper water. What we want to do is maintain visual contact with that sighted material, that bicolor sighted material. It will give us indication if, that, if there's a fish taking the fly. It also gives us a great idea of what depth we're fishing too. Now, ideally, when we do nymph, we don't want to see our fly hanging up on bottom too often. What we want to see is that line tick bottom ever so slightly once in a while. If you're dredging the bottom, we can actually very often fish below the fish and their sight line, but also lose a lot of flies too. That gets pretty expensive after a while. As we cast out, we're going to cast at a short distance and watch it flow through the water, keeping a high rod tip and good control. We want to make sure, as with anything else, we have no drag on the, on the line or offering a great dead drift. So as we look forward and monitor this line, we're looking for the fly not to hang up too often on the bottom. Now we need to monitor this current speeds around our indicator and our fly line to make sure we're not putting opposing forces on our fly. We want our fly to travel downriver naturally, subtly as any insect would, or wormwood or anything that's floating in the underwater naturally. And we're really watching the indicator. If it does move at all, we're gonna go for a little exploratory set, a little pullback to see what may be there. You don't need to go for a full Bassmaster, right behind us type set. Oh, there we go. Well, it's real life fishing, right here.